I got a, uh, I got a comment under one of my videos. It was a request. Somebody wanted information on the relationship between having a vasectomy and testosterone production. What is a vasectomy? A, vasect uh, a, a vasectomy involves the cutting of a muscular tube called the vas deferens that, that, that goes from the epididym epididymis in the testes to the urethra. Basically, it transports sperm. Uh, they, they cut the vas deferens basically to induce infertility. It's kind of a birth control for men. Uh, it prevents the, uh, the transport of sperm, so supposedly the man can't impregnate a woman. Uh, mo in many cases, a uh, vasectomy is reversible, but that's not. I'm not going to talk about vasectomies. I'm only going to talk about, in this video, the relationship between vasectomies and testosterone level. But vasectomy is the most common form of male sterilization. Uh, <clears throat> so the, um, a lot of men wonder, uh, since it's affecting the, te you know, the testes where testosterone is produced, uh, will that adversely affect testosterone levels? Well, testosterones are produced in a different part of the testes called the, the Leydig cells. Uh, and the Leydig cells have nothing to do with the vas deferens. So uh, to make a long story short, you don't have any uh, effect of uh, having a vasectomy does not adversely affect testosterone levels at all. Uh, so um, the men, when you have a vasectomy, you continue to ejaculate sperm, but it goes backwards instead of coming out through the penis, it goes backwards, called retrograde ejaculation. Uh, but it doesn't cause any bi other biological changes in men uh, there are some studies that try to uh, suggest that having a vasectomy increases your risk of can uh, prostate cancer. That's completely false. A 2018 study found that uh, vasectomy procedures had no effect on testosterone levels in men. <clears throat> now, um, the um, you know the, the some of the old material tried to say that an, a vasectomy could cause a hormonal imbalance in males, mainly testosterone. But again, the, the uh, a, a study that looked at uh, previous studies that was published in 2018 found that isn't true. There are things that can cause hormonal imbalances in men uh, related to lower testosterone. And these things include being overweight, having a lot of uh, body fat can lower your testosterone not following a certain type of diet where you consume sufficient dietary fat, particularly saturated fat and monounsaturated fat. If your diet contains <clears throat> less than 20% of calories as fat, uh, there's a good chance that you'll have lower testosterone levels. A lack of exercise can lower testosterone. If you don't get enough sleep, your testosterone drops an average of 15% in, after just one night of not enough sleep. Chronic stress also can lower testosterone because you have an elevated cortisol level. Cortisol level, uh, elevated cortisol, which is an adrenal steroid hormone, interferes with testosterone uh, synthesis. Having diabetes tends to uh, also interfere with testosterone, which is why men who, are, uh, who have diabetes, when they get on testosterone replacement therapy, they often show uh, greatly increased testosterone levels, as do men who are overweight, who uh, if they go on a diet, lose a lot of body fat, their testosterone levels will almost automatically go up a great deal. Any particular testicular issues can also cause a hormone imbalance, such as a prior infection. Uh, uh, men who've had mumps uh, as a, um, uh, when they were young can often find themselves infertile. Uh, George Washington, the father of our country, oddly enough, was infertile. They thought it might be from a uh, from having acquired uh, either smallpox or mumps. I don't remember which one, but the uh, the truth is that uh, the father of our country, George Washington, was infertile. He, uh, <laughs> it's just one of those ironies. Uh, that doesn't mean he's not a great man. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Not by any chance. Testicular uh, atrophy can also affect hormone uh, cancer. I mean. Uh, Testo uh, testosterone levels, undescended te testicles can also uh, uh, lead to lower testosterone levels. Hyperthyroidism, too much thyroid hormone or not enough thyroid hormone 
called hypothyroidism can also uh, lower testosterone levels. Any injury to any of the endocrine glands, including the pituitary gland, which secretes luteinizing hormone, which controls testosterone synthesis, can also lower testosterone. Uh, Long-term steroid use, anabolic steroids, of course, can, uh, soon, uh, after one week of a, of a testosterone injection, your sperm production goes down to zero. It's called oligospermia. Happens only a week after a testosterone injection. Uh, and uh, again, too much cortisol can also, uh, low, uh, you know, affect uh, testosterone by lowering it. So, uh, what th does vasectomy have any side effects? Well, sometimes the sterilization fails. In other words, a man can have a vasectomy and some sperm could still get through. Maybe some sperm is hanging around the ure urethra or something like that. Uh, and he can actually impregnate a woman, uh, even though he had a vasectomy. Uh, also, there's something called sperm granuloma, which is a harmless a small lump of sperm that is leaked out. Uh, and that could also, uh, you know, that would be a failure of, vas of a vasectomy. Uh, you have, th th there's no increased risk of a vasectomy if you have autoimmune disease, cardiovascular disease, or prostate cancer. Uh, uh, the vasectomy is not a risk factor for strokes, high blood pressure, dementia, or testicular cancer. Uh, vasectomy does not cause erectile dysfunction or any form of sexual dysfunction. Uh, a 2020 systematic review showed that, showed that studies showed the following improvements in sexual function among males who, who underwent a vasectomy. Increased fre frequency of sexual intercourse, increased sexual satisfaction, improved libido and sex drive, improved directions, improved orgasms, improved confidence in sex life. Uh, what about libido or sex drive? Uh, it does not affect the, uh, harm, the uh, testosterone, and since testosterone is re responsible for libido or sex drive, the sex drive is not affected. Uh, let me see. What else can I tell you about it? Hmm. The uh, short-term short side effects of a vasectomy include pain or discomfort following the procedure, bruising around the surgical site, and possible infection, especially if hygienic measures aren't, aren't done. Uh, let's see. I think about, I think really that's about it. Um, the, uh, there's not a long recovery. Usually we return to work in three days. You can resume sex and exercise within one to two weeks. Uh, vasectomies don't take imme uh, effect immediately, so you have to be careful. And if you don't want to get somebody pregnant, you got to use some form of birth control. Uh, now, they say that um, uh, usually doctors will tell you that a vasectomy is not reversible, but uh, the ver reversals are sometimes done. Uh, sometimes they fail, sometimes they don't. And, uh, and I think that's all of I could say about this particular topic. So I just wanted to, uh, I try to uh, make this channel unique by responding to, uh, to uh, queries or, or uh, suggestions for future videos by people that look at my channel, which is why I did this particular topic, uh, vasectomy in relation to testosterone. So that's about, so to sum it all up, Having a vasectomy does not in any way increase, I mean, decrease or interfere with testosterone production, with libido or sex drive, or anything else related to testosterone. Uh, in fact, uh, so the studies show that most men's lives actually improve after having a vasectomy. Pro I suspect that's because they don't have to worry about, you know, impregnating a woman who they don't want to impregnate. So that's about it for this topic. If you want further information about nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, hormone therapy, uh, 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 supplement science, which supplements work, which ones don't, ergogenic aids, women's health and fitness, effective fat loss techniques, all of this is covered in my Applied Metabolics at www.appliedmetabolics.com, 30 to 40 pages every month. No advertisements whatsoever. I am not associated with any supplement company. I don't any, get any kickbacks or any money from any supplement companies or, or fitness companies to, to push their products, as is the case with about 98% of other YouTube videos. So this is an independent channel that's only goal is to give you solid evidence-based information that includes 
my over six decades of experience, which I don't think too many people can match. That's 60 years, in case you don't know what a decade is. Uh, but uh, so if, if you really want in-depth information that goes well beyond my videos, uh, subscribe to my Applied Metabolics. Again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email. I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics f uh, Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general health and medicine. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage where current subscribers only can ask me short questions about anything they read in Applied Metabolics or anything that they're curious about pertaining to uh, nutrition and exercise. I will answer their questions as an appreciation of their subscription, kind of a bonus to the subscription. Obviously, I will only answer current subscribers only. So uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I think that's about it, really. <laughs> if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Thank you for listening.